Hey there everybody, Intense Angler here. Just kind of hanging outside today. It's a gorgeous evening, enjoying a little bit of nature. Did want to take the opportunity while I'm out here today to throw a little video together that I've been wanting to do for a while. And this is going to be primarily on this little fella. And this is just a homemade stick pick. Now, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with this, what a stick pick is. For those of you that aren't, it's just a little device, and I do mean little, that allows you the option of attaching your video camera or your still camera to a trekking pole or a tree branch, a stick, something like that, and eliminates the need to carry around a big bulky tripod when you're out in the doors, which a lot of times is not feasible. Um, you know, if you're on a three, four, five day backpacking trip, you're not going to be wanting to carry around a big bulky tripod. So, and you know, carrying your camera in your hand is a great, um, great option. Um, it's what I do the majority of the time. But if you are looking to get some different shots, uh, a little bit of creativity going on, whatever it is, uh, stick picks a really good way to go. Now, um, you can buy their, the product on their website or, you know, elsewhere online. Um, it's a really good product. It's worth uh, the money that they ask for it. Of course, the way I roll over here is uh, cheap and do it yourself. So uh, this this fella is about a buck to throw together in five minutes of your time. So uh, for me, there's no reason to go the other route. Um, do got to give them credit though, since I am robbing their idea. <laughs> so anyway, so that's that. Did figure since we were out here uh, working around this concept, we might as well take it a step further. And I'm going to show you a couple other low cost, um, easy, simple little ideas for camera mounts that uh, will allow you to get a little bit more diversity in the angles that you shoot in the outdoors if you're into that kind of thing. Um, and also got a really cool little uh, tip I wanted to show you on an image stabilization. Um, I guess it's just an image stabilization trick if you don't have stabilization on your uh, video camera or your still camera. And uh, so I'll show you that here toward the end. But anyway, let's get going on this. First of all, I wanted to say that uh, this idea for this homemade stick pick is not an original idea. I'm sure there's several uh, videos out there on making one of these. I personally got the idea from a video that Fixed by Doc did. Now, I'd recommend checking out his video. It's an excellent tutorial on this uh, topic. I'm just going to go over really quick how I did it. Um, and once again, that was um, from the information that I gained off of his video. So uh, what you do, first of all, is you'll take, um, you can find this little tripod. That's all this is, is just a, this used to go on here. But this is just a little tripod that you pick up at the dollar store. The, the store I happened to pick it up was Dollar Tree. So uh, you get this whole guy for about a buck. Now, it's obviously going to be connected. And what you want to do is take the legs and if you can see there's a little screw in here what you're going to want to do is unscrew that screw you're going to want to set it aside and save it now it detaches these legs now what you can do is just toss the legs aside and next is you're going to take a hose clamp and you're going to want to separate the hose clamp punch a little hole through it to be able to, to put that screw through now, what I did is I just used a flathead screwdriver to punch a hole through one of the little um, pieces of metal on here. I did not want to totally cut that piece of metal out, and there's a reason why. And that reason is, once you punch the hole through, you're going to want to stick your screw through there, and then you can clamp with a pair of uh, needle nose pliers, just clamp down those two protruding pieces of metal back onto the screw, and it will keep it solidly in place. Okay, so once you got that done, go ahead and just screw it right back in, right back in here to the um, um, mount, the head here, the actual uh, camera mount, and then close up the uh, hose clamp. And there you go, you have a uh, quick and easy little homemade stick pick. All right, so now that you got the uh, stick pick thrown together, um, now comes the different shots that you can take with it. The cool part is, um, it the the original intent was to be able to attach it to a trekking pole. Now there's other options you can do, which we'll get into. But just going off the trekking pole, uh, what I do is just take the um, basket off, slide that little hose clamp over the pole, and then clamp it down. You can slide your basket right back on it. Once you do that. 
Um, of course, you have the option of extending out the trekking pole and I just kind of lean it against my hip or whatever and hold it together with my hand. It gives a little bit of uh, stability and you can get a wider shot of yourself so you're not just holding out your hand, you know, um, trying to get a shot like that, which usually ends up being, you know, fairly close anyway. It allows that trekking pole to extend out of ways and get a view of you and your background. So, you know, if you happen to have a really um, some really nice scenery in the background, a mountain lake or uh, just a really gorgeous mountain pass, something like that. You can really, um, by utilizing the trekking pole, you can get yourself and um, your you know, backdrop, your surroundings in the video really well like that. So the trekking pole mount's a really great, um, great idea. If you want to get a little bit more um, creative or just get a little bit different shots than just the trekking pole shot, uh, the stick pick also comes in handy for being able to mount your video camera to a tree limb or tree branch uh, to get a higher angle or a view of your camp or something like that so you don't have to be holding uh, the, the camera, you know, so you can go ahead and mount it up and uh, shoot, you know, get your shot of you uh, in your camp or uh, walking up the trail, walking away from the camera, whatever it is, it just affords, um, you know, a different angle. Another great option to utilize the stick pick, if you're into fishing like I am, you can, uh, sometimes you find it's really hard, at least I do, to be able to uh, capture so shots of yourself uh, fishing. It's just, it's really difficult to do that, to get a shot of you, the, your, the fish you're fighting in the water. Um, you know, if you're just using a tripod or a, a static mount, you're gonna get either, you know, just you or just the water, something like that. What I do, what I found um, is to use the stick pick and just attach it near the butt section of my rod. And this way I can attach my video camera to the butt section of the rod and get a shot of the pole and any angle that I choose. I still have complete um, control over that. So it's gonna show the, you know, the rod bending when the fish is fighting. Um, you can obviously point it in the direction of the fish. So you're gonna get those really cool fish jumping shots, um, you know, all of that. So it's just it affords you a little bit more diversity in the angles that you're shooting when you're fishing alone. Um, I found that a um, really cool trick. I actually haven't got to do a video utilizing that yet, but uh, it's a really great little trick and uh, yet another great option for this uh, stick pick. All right, well, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover on the stick pick. Uh, of course, there's a lot of different uh, mounting options for that. Um, you know, everything from if you're a, a bicycle bicyclist, mountain biker, or whatever, you can attach uh, your video camera to your handlebars using it. Um, I've attached my camera to the rails on my boat uh, by using the stick pick. So um, just a lot of different things, offers you a lot of different options. So anyway, moving on here, I wanted to show you a couple other little options for little packable uh, mounts. One, of course, is the tripod that I uh, picked up at Dollar Tree here. Uh, pretty basic little fella, just uh, extends out. Um, the legs do extend a little ways, not much. So anyways, there, there's that. Uh, there's another tripod very similar that I got at a different uh, local dollar store. This one has flexible legs. Um, it's got a metal insert that bends. Uh, it's really good for uh, mounting on uneven grounds, things like that. Um, it is actually flexible enough and strong enough to wrap around a tree branch, something like that. So a uh, great option. And with these, of course, uh, these afford you, I usually carry um, this with me as well as the stick pick or something like that because it affords me the option to get low angle shots as well um, as those high angle shots that you can get by attaching the you know stick pick to a, a tree or something like that. This you can shoot at a totally reverse angle and get a low shot going up. So pretty cool little deal. Like I said, for me, it's worth you know carrying around. Um, weighs basically nothing and packs to about nothing. Um, the last thing for a uh, tripod, and I'm gonna, I'm actually using mine right now, so I'm gonna insert a picture here to show you what I'm talking about. But I just use a, um, it's a portable tripod that I got from Walmart. I think it costs $14. Um, it is a little bit bulk, bulkier, but it's a lot. It's a full size tripod. It goes up to I think 44 inches and packs down to 12 inches. And it weighs, uh, I think it weighed in at 14 ounces. So like I said, it, it is a step up in weight, but if you're day tripping or don't mind carrying that extra weight on a backpacking trip, um, it's, a, it's a really good option for a full size um, tripod. So, okay, so the last little uh, thing I wanted to cover here was just that little stabilization trick that I told you about. 
If you don't have stabilization on your uh, camera or your uh, video camera, this is a really cool little trick. Uh, what you'll want to do is get a little piece of string. This just happens to be a little piece of nylon string and you're going to need a little quarter inch bolt. Um, this is a, like I said, quarter inch bolt with uh, coarse threads. So that'll screw right into your uh, camera. It's uh, the universal uh, camera mount. So anyhow, you're just going to take that string, attach it to the bolt, and you're going to want your string, the length of this, to go from the ground to about the level that you want to shoot from. So whatever's most comfortable for you. Um, I tend to shoot a little bit lower, so my string's a little bit lower. So just find the height that's comfortable for you. and this end will screw right into your camera and you're going to obviously let this end down and um, I got this idea the guy was attaching the end to a, a big washer okay I just I don't do that because it's extra weight and just extra hassle I'll just carry this like this and attach the string to a stick or something and what you're going to do is let the stick drop to the ground once you have this the bolt attached to your camera and you're going to want to stand on the the uh, stick and pull up your camera tight. That's gonna stretch the string and it's gonna stabilize your shot, okay? You're gonna be able to pan around and it's gonna eliminate that shakiness that you naturally get in your hands, okay? So by, allow, by putting that tension on the string, it's gonna really shore up your shots quite a bit. So of course it's not a you know high-end trick or anything, this is just a, ingenuity at its finest here you know allows you to get by with uh with what you have and get a little bit more out of it so pretty cool little trick just wanted to share it with you once again um, i don't know where i saw that one uh, it's not my idea but i wanted to pass it along so um anyway that's pretty much all i got um there's lots of different uh ideas out there on getting some cool shots and making do with less you know if you don't have a uh you know really expensive waterproof camera you can do tricks like uh, using a one of those ziploc storage uh, plastic boxes and making your own waterproof uh, camera or even underwater cameras like that you know with just your uh, cheap um, uh, cheap camcorder so there's tons of really good ideas out there like that um, I'm sure you guys got a bunch and if you do I'd love to hear them in your comments or, or whatever or see your videos on them um, this, I'm, I'm definitely not a professional at any of this stuff. I'm really new to it. And uh, I'm just a hack with a camcorder, so bear with me here. But uh, I do like to kind of learn and grow as I go along here. That's one of the things I love about YouTube is that we exchange this kind of information and help each other enjoy our pursuits just, you know, that much more. So, um, anyway, if you do have any tricks um, that you'd like to share, please definitely share them. Leave a comment or post your own video just give me a heads up so I can check it out too okay um, that's like I said that's about all I got I uh, hope some of this was uh, helpful or useful in some way and uh, thanks again for watching me we'll see you guys next time